Hi there, I'm Ron Episcopo and welcome to a brief story of my life and my art. So when I was growing up, I always pursued art, loved art, but then came the time that I was going off to college and told my parents I was going to art school. You can imagine the horror in their face when I was the first one ever to go to college and I was going to art school. They believed I couldn't make any money off of art and you had to have a career. So instead I went and pursued a degree in economics, uh, went off to the business world, but because of a sequence of events, I decided to give that up and pursue my art full time. And those events were reading a book or meeting the artist, Eric Wall, who wrote a book called Unthink. It's basically saying that all those horrible things you were told as a child, that you're not good enough to dance, you're not good enough for art, you're not good enough to be a scientist, that you need to unthink them to pursue your passions. Second was marrying my husband, who encouraged me to exhibit my art. And finally, putting my first piece out there, which was horrifying because I thought, I don't want them making fun of my art. So in South Florida, where I was living at the time, you bring your pieces to the art center, they evaluate them, usually with a team of judges, and then you get a call. Either you're in the exhibit or the horrible news that your painting wasn't good enough for this particular exhibit and that you had to pick it up. So I got the call that I was in the exhibit, but what was more exciting was that I won third place. I couldn't believe it. So I called all my friends. I think there were over a hundred of them that came to the opening night exhibit. And then I got the horrible thought. Suppose my painting was the best of all really bad art. I'd be so embarrassed. So I snuck into the exhibit and I was shocked. This was a first class exhibit with some really great art. So that was the beginning of my art career. About 10 years ago, I pursued it full time. I was fortunate enough to um, leave my company with a nice severance package to do and pursue my dreams. Um, we're gonna take a look at some of my art. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering where we are, we're in my secret garden. Don't tell anyone you were here. I'm a mixed media artist. Uh, generally, I start with photography, then layer paints, tissue papers, whatever I find on top of it. Um, I, recently, though, I've been more interested in pure acrylics and experimental art. So you're going to see some of my pieces. You can see how I progressed from mixed media into more acrylic. Here we go. Fasten your seatbelt. This is the first piece I exhibited. And I mentioned in my uh, background of my life. Uh, sorry about the glare, but this is originally a photograph that I painted and layered these women's high heel shoes on. And the judges totally got the what I was going for. It's called androgyny. What makes a man a man, a woman a woman. It's not by the clothes you wear or what you put on. Um, and the message was received by the judges in this one third place. This is mixed media, one of my favorites. It's a homage to Gloria Swanson, because I thought she had such an interesting face. So it's replicated numerous times on a very large canvas. Uh, then I used paint and art paper layered on top of it. And I think it's pretty cool. I really like this piece a lot. This is another homage to Michelle Obama this time. And I replicated a picture of her, then painted in certain ones. And the title is Love, Peace, and Hope. Two of these sold, but I liked it so much that I kept one for myself. This is the piece I'm most proud of, but it's exhibited 
at the Cummer Museum. I'll try to keep the glare out of it if I can. But it is a photograph uh, that I took on the way back from a restaurant in Avondale um, and then painted over top of it. And the judges were impressed with matching it to the theme and technique. Uh, the theme was Out of the Darkness, uh, which was when the Cummer uh, lost all the gardens to the hair cane. So, you know, one of my dreams of being exhibited at a museum came true with this piece. This is one of my favorite pieces, acrylic, called Reflections on a Lake. And I got the idea from some reflections, obviously, that I saw on water and uh, in mirrors and so on. I've been working on this technique lately, and I really enjoy it. It's basically taking cans of paint, bringing them from a high source, and let them, letting them free fall over the canvas. So the control you have is over the direction and how long you let the paint drip to create the effect that you want. I'm enjoying this, although I caution you, it's extremely messy. I usually have paint everywhere, including me and the dog. So my two entries for this exhibit, uh, the theme led me to think of uh, musical instruments and I was at the symphony and saw the string section and I was inspired by that. So I took a photograph, uh, outlined it, then layered on top of it, this is translucent acrylic sheets that are generally used for lighting. Layered them uh, to get various color effects and then layered on top of that thumbtacks to keep them in place and to give them an interesting effect. Really like this one. As you could tell from my art, I like repetition. This is the second piece in the competition. Again, uh, through the um, symphony when I was watching the string section, and I just replicated the violin in different positions and then painted them and just kind of waited for the color effects to come through. I hope you enjoyed that journey with me through my art, my life, how I've gotten involved with the art and met so many great artists here in Jacksonville. If you'd like to see more of my art, you can go to artbyronald.com and I hope to see you at the exhibit at the Regency Mall. Until then, go out and make the world a more beautiful place.